Hi. Hi. Okay, so yeah. I'm Louisa Zisman. I'm Rosie Tapner. Freedom. And, and today we're here. Royal Ascot. We're here at Royal Ascot, so we've arrived now. We're just in the car park. We've just parked the car and um, we're just amongst some people who are having a picnic in the car park. There's loads of picnics going on and stuff. Loads of people just turning up, all dressed fancy, all really nice big hats, colourful outfits. So we're just, um, yeah, chilling, simmering, and then we're going to go and have a bit of a tour. So Royal Ascot is the place to be. Boom. So is it more for the ladies? No, these are mainly for Oh, you got one as well? Yeah. Okay, okay, so what, do I the need a flower or something? You try and match what you're wearing. So red and red? Uh, so you can uh, I either match with what you're wearing or with yeah. what your ladies are wearing. Okay, okay, okay. So, should I get one of these flowers or how much are they? I leave it entirely up to you. Okay, That's so it's it like a... how it works in this car park. Okay. Rely on the generosity of, of the car. All right, so rely on the generosity of world horse racing. They're going to pay for it, yeah? Cool. <laughs> so, can I get one of these red ones, I guess? Certainly. Nice just... one. And yeah, slap it through there, isn't it? There you go. Cool. Brilliant. Very okay. Cool. Nice one. Flower boy, yeah? See it. Yeah, man. Freedom. Today I'm here at the lovely Ascot Racecourse with World Horse Racing. I am in the owners and trainers car park. That's car park number two at Ascot Racecourse. And it might not sound very glamorous, but this is where it all goes off. I'm going to have a wonder now, rummage through a few people's picnics. First one up is world famous horse trainer, George Baker. You rise very early to get the spot. We do, I mean, yesterday we were here at 10, 10 quarter past 10. Which and we early. were and we were late. Oh, That's unbelievable! And there was sort of one spot left, which was just ridiculous. And I heard you've got a runner today. We've got a runner today. Paper star. Slightly by mistake, but we're delighted <laughs> to have a runner. Two hundred to one. Two hundred to one. Well, we had one hundred twenty-five to one winner at Goodwood. So this. I've is our, heard that. This is our specialist subject. So. So I'm wandering around to anybody who's got no chance, which is exactly what I did at Goodwood. So I'm trying to replicate exactly what I did at Goodwood. Okay. Which is tell In the hope of the same result. Do not have a bet on the horse. And listen, she's a lovely filly. She's probably not going to be winning today, but she'll be winning one day. Exactly. It may not be here today. It's a good so. practice. Exactly. So, word on the street is that the Great British horse racing picnic tent is one of the best. This is to host all of the international owners that come, but they are one of the best hosts here. Let's sneak inside and have a rummage through their picnic. Now clearly I'm not an international owner, however, seems like I fit right in. Cheers. Just, uh, just mm. So we are here with world famous AP McCoy. Thank you for speaking to us. World famous. <laughs> not sure about that, but... He's not sure about that. He's putting himself down. But um, I'm fangirling at the minute because I'm a big fan. Um, but so yeah, thank you for talking to us. Um, you are looking gorgeous. Thank you. Very, very well put together. Did you put this together yourself or? Uh, I'd like to say that well, my wife normally dresses me before I'm allowed out of the house, but she went <laughs> off on holidays this morning. So I had to literally dress myself this morning. I've been uh, presenting on Ascot TV, but now I'm here with World Horse Racing. We're at Royal Ascot and we're going to have a look around to find some of the more fantastic outfits. Your hat is amazing. Thank you very much. Where, it's, a, it's a turtle shell. It is, yeah. Where did you get it from? Uh, Africa, and it's about 100 years old. What? Is it actually a turtle it shell? It is an actual tortoise. Um, and. It's normally used as a fruit bowl in my friend's house, and one day at a dinner party, I picked it up and put it on my head, as you do. And he said, well, actually, that looks quite hot on you. And I said, thanks, can I wear it to ask it? No um, way. What a story. 
Yes. Okay, so what's your names? Uh, Kennedy. 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 Okay, that's different, isn't it? Kennedy for a girl, yeah? Yes. You're cool oh, no, 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 I'm a guy. <laughs> You're the prettiest guy I've seen. Thank you. <laughs> you coordinated your pink oh, yeah. with Layla's pink. Was that uh, on purpose? Or it was a demand. <laughs> oh, it was a demand. Yeah. Right, so we've got different parts of Norway here. Yes. Have a look. Girls, you look absolutely incredible, but I do feel for you in this heat. Quick words. Where you get your hat from? I can't do it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Tell us about your outfit, your suit. This outfit, it's a fine outfit from Next. Gorgeous. That's what I'd like to emphasise. You You've not got to spend a fortune to look good at Ascot. That's no, all I'm going to say. The tie, ten pounds. Next again. <laughs> next is done. Shirt well. was next as well. And what about your uh, next? Next also. <laughs> Including the boys for that, to be honest, well, Harry, Harry is a walking next advert. Tell us about these outfits. Natural dress, it's probably to kilt, sporting, roll. Skiing do, yeah, and uh, the tartans go with the family name. So Ben Anderson has the Anderson tartan. I'm Johnston, Johnston tartan. And also, in this weather, you know, the men are complaining in their full suits at the moment. You're like, not, not like a girl, but you know, you've got a skirt on, so you're feeling a bit, a bit more breezy. The, the, the bottom half's a little bit more breezy, but it's not about waistcoats. Yeah, yeah you're having the best, you're not having the best of both, are you? No. It's still very warm around here. Not at all. Are you enjoying your, Have you come all the way from Glasgow? We have, have for the week. We've got uh, runners in, my dad's a trainer, we've got runners in five. After six races today. No way, who's your dad? Uh, Mark Johnston. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Only, no only a small trainer. Uh, Team Michael Suit. Okay. Ghanaian via Bergen. Love that. <laughs> Keeping it original, yeah? Yeah, man. You know, we represent with the African, yeah? Talk, talk me through it. Well, it's a, um, a couture piece from Dolce & Gabbana. Really? Yeah, specifically for me. There's only one in the world. No. Yeah, it is. One yeah. in the world. One in the world. Well, I think we've certainly seen some good outfits there. We've had a tortoise hat that's over 100 years old, that's also doubling up as a fruit bowl. So that's pretty outrageous and fantastic for the Royal Ascot. We've just now had a woman in Dolce & Gabbana that's made just for her in the Union Jack. I mean, at Royal Ascot, you really do get the most amazing outfits and people do go all out. I think it's the only place in the world you can really express what your fashion is. Okay, so I'm here with John Hunt, Radio 5 Live. I listen to 5 Live like nearly every day. Yeah, tune in. And um, John Hunt is just going to show me how he commentates here at Royal Ascot, bits and pieces that he uses and stuff. So, fire away, John. Well, Freedom, we've got all the kit, obviously. There's no point cool. having an idea if you've not got all the gear, is there, you know? Yeah. So two screens, it's uh -huh. great. You can choose your own camera. They're all blank at the moment, but you can choose your own camera. Okay, this angles. covers the whole site, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Look okay. at the view, though, as well. Yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable down the track. Crazy. You know, you cannot fail to catch them. And Crazy. all you've got to do, Freedom, is try mm. and remember the jockey's colours and pair it up successfully, <laughs> okay. successfully with the name of the horse. That's you know? the easy way. Yeah, and yeah. get it right on the on the winning line. That's yeah. where it counts there. Yeah. That little strip of uh, turf, mm. that's mm. where all the glory is, isn't Amazing. it? You know, we get the very best coverage. Brilliant. As I say, two monitors. Yeah. And hopefully there's... Look, Freedom, we're going to mess it up from time to time, but as long as you don't mess it up right there, yeah. we're all right. Okay, so Royal Ascot is almost come to an end now. Right at the end of each day, they have a big sing-along. So everyone gets together and they start singing, all jolly, having a fantastic time, or after a fantastic time. I heard You'll Never Walk Alone is going to be sung very soon, so you know Liverpool's my team. I'm going to jump in on that one. Freedom with a double three, signing out for World Horse Racing. Big up yourself. Bless.